I just got a nibble. Oh, oh my God. Guys, I actually just caught a fish. Oh, oh. Upon your guys' request, I went and got a polarized lens for my GoPro, and we're gonna take it fishing in this episode. We're gonna see what does a polarized lens on a GoPro look like, and is it worth it? And I've, I've never taken a GoPro lens off. I didn't even know it was possible, but you guys have been telling me to do this, and I looked into it, and it is possible. You just grab the lens, and you twist it. Oh my God, it's actually working. Okay, yeah, so the lens just comes right off. Oh, so that is a GoPro lens. I didn't even know this. This is a Hero 9. Then there's the 10, there's the 11. I think there's even a 12 now, I'm not sure. But this lens I got off of Amazon. Forget how much I paid for it, but I'll put it on the screen here. And I'll link it in the description if, uh, if you like it, we'll find out. But it says that this will fit a Hero 9, a Hero 10, a Hero 11. So I guess they're all pretty interchangeable. But um, yeah, let's slap it on and see what it looks like. All right, and there it is. Uh -huh. Oh wait, that's, <laughs> it's inside, okay, this is a case for it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, look at that. So we will take this out. Oh, wow. Just stick it right on top. All right, there we go. It just goes right on it. You just twist it right on. This lens, you can twist it and it'll get darker. You'll notice it's dark and then it brightens up. So I think you can choose the intensity of the polarized polarity or let's go outside and see what it looks like. All right, boom, check it out. We are filming in just the normal, this is normal GoPro lens. This is the one that it comes with and this is what everything looks like normal. We all know what this GoPro lens looks like because this is what we use all the time. I'm actually gonna go run down to the water real quick and get some water shots. All right, this is me using the GoPro polarized lens. What do you guys think? Polarized or non-polarized? What do you like more? Leave a comment below, but we're gonna take it fishing. Maybe we can see right through the water's glare and see some fish. Maybe we won't, I don't know, but let's get going. Our weapon of choice today, the Captain 2000 PC Fun Reel uh, spooled up with 10 pound mono monofilament line. And then we got about three feet of 12 pound fluorocarbon as our top shot. Going to a live bait hook. And these are the, um, the skinny live bait hooks. So there's the, let me show you. There's the HD version, these guys, which are a lot thicker. HD for heavy duty. And then there's the live bait hooks, which are a little more or skinny this is would be good for like yellowtail and like patch reef fishing and but if you're just fishing in the mangroves these are probably sufficient maybe a big tarpon or a big snook you want to go hd but we're just targeting mangrove snapper so we'll be using the thin ones and we'll be using these gulp shrimp that i paid 20 dollars for for these fake shrimp um yeah that's where we're going to be fishing so this is my little tackle box Shove all that in there. Easy peasy. Where did I put the shrimp? Well, that didn't take long to lose at all. Where? How did I manage to leave my shrimp? Sometimes my own brain baffles me. Tell you what. Hey, Elliot, you wanna join? Come on over, bud, if you wanna come fishing. So we'll give the boat a nice push. Whew. Okay, the tide is really low. Really gotta push this sucker hard. That's a heavy boat. Oh, this tide. The water used to be up to here. Okay, that was a good push. 
Oh, the boat's full of water. I should have drained it before uh, I pushed it in the water. Wow, I suck. Plug our trolling motor to the battery. Okay, looks good. Our tackle bag and our shrimp. Put that over here. Our water can go down there and that looks good to me. We'll use our pole anchor to give us a push off. Hey bud, do you want to join or nah? Covered in dirt again. I see you've been playing in the dirt. All right, not in, he's not interested in a fishing trip. He just wants to fish. I know how it is. Just wants to use me for my fish. Oh, there we go. And away we go. So let's rig one of these shrimp just to a straight up J hook. Oh, okay. There's a cover. I'm guessing you don't want to spill this juice all over the boat. And I will run my J hook through it so it kind of looks like just like that. It doesn't really smell like anything. Oh, what a perfect cast. I just got a nibble. Oh, oh my God. Guys, I actually just caught a fish. Oh, oh, oh my God. That's a nice grunt. That's dinner. <gasps> On the artificial hole. I didn't even bring a, like a bucket or anything. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. You hear them? That's why they're called grunts. All right, right there. The live bait hook also works on <laughs> artificial bait. Um, I'm gonna put him out of his misery. I thought I had a knife in here. All right, I don't have a knife, but I am gonna dispatch him quickly. Sorry, bud. Ah, he got me good. <laughs> Right in my fucking hand. Oh, it's like every episode so far I've been screwing my freaking hand up. Damn, that went deep. I think there's a piece stuck in there. <laughs> Does it look good on polarized at least? <laughs> All right, clean them off. Oh God. I tried to clean it and it made it worse. Ah, my hand. My hand really kind of, that doesn't feel good at all. Fuck. <sighs> so if you look at these grunts, they have these extremely sharp, long spines along their back. And it went right in there. It doesn't look like much, but probably went like a good centimeter in there. Ooh, God, it doesn't feel good. But, you know, I guess, Touche, he probably doesn't feel that good either. So we're on the same page, bud. At least I'm the one with dinner and your dinner. Let's get back to fishing. Ooh, that was a good cast. So I'm just letting the shrimp sink. How does the glare look? I, it still kind of looks like there's a glare on the screen. I'm gonna take the polarized lens off in a little bit here and we'll see if there's a difference. Oh, the yeah, fish grabbed it. Oh, that was a toothy barracuda. You gotta watch out for those guys. I just had the most perfect cast ever right into this little nook up here, but I just barely hit this branch, so now I'm stuck. Oh, unstuck, unstuck, reverse. Reverse. Come on, buddy, I just had a nibble. Eat it, eat it. Oh my God, that might be the best cast I've ever done. I casted it all the way to that mangrove root line and it literally touched the edge of the mangroves and went down right next to it. If that doesn't turn into a fish, I don't know what will. So I'm just letting the shrimp sink. Hopefully a fish like smells it, picks it up, eats it, and I'll set the hook. Oh, there goes a nibble. Come on, come on. Here we go. Ah, the fish just took me around this piling thing here. Hoping I can get them unwrapped. Yummy. Seaweed salad. 
This is why you always bring a knife fishing because my hook is caught in this rope that was floating down there and I cannot get my hook out of the rope without cutting it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Listen, oh boy, use this video as what not to do. There we go, you're welcome. Always bring a knife if you're fishing or hunting or just shoot, if you're outdoors ever, always have a knife, you never know. Take a moment to enjoy this scene, all right? This is polarized. I'm about to put the normal lens on and let's see what happens. So here's our normal GoPro lens. Take a good look at that water. Okay. And twist the knob. There, just like that. All right, now let's put on normal GoPro lens. Okay. Bam. This is the normal GoPro lens, the one it comes with. What do you guys think? Is there a big difference? I'm gonna fish for a little bit with the normal lens on and then we'll switch one more time back to the polarized lens. Schwack. Ooh, yeah. That was nice. Right where I wanted it. Oh. Got a hit. There's a fish messing with it. Oh. Try to set that hook on him. Another miss. Oh, getting bit. That was a tiny little fish messing with it. Nice try. There's gotta be fish right, right there. Guaranteed. This water right here looks really nice and clear. This would be a good time, I think, for me to put the polarized lens back on. I think there's a fish. Oh, there is a fish. Hold on. He grabbed it. It's in his mouth. Here we go. I'm gonna set the hook. Oh! Uh, let me change my lens real quick. Cause I want you guys to really see the difference. That's the original lens. Put that down. Here's the polarized lens. Boom. All right, how does it look? Oh. That was a perfect cast. I just saw a nice fish right over there and he swam right that way. All right, you know what? It is almost seven o'clock and I gotta do a live stream in less than an hour. We got dinner, which is a huge plus. Look at him right there. Mm, grunt, one of my favorite eating fish. And we got a polarized lens. I don't think it gets much better than that. We're gonna have ourselves a catch and cook. We're gonna go home now. But please let me know, do I keep rocking the polarized lens? Or do you say it don't matter? I'm curious, did I waste my money or was it worth it? Ooh, we coming in hot, boys. Oh, we coming in real hot. Oh God. Okay. Hey, you know what? I'd say that was, that was a pretty good landing. Just step on this. All right, we'll give it a good tug up on land. He. Oh, oh, oh no, I just got my white sneaks, brown and dirty. Hey buds, come here. Hey, oh, you're covered in dirt. Were you rolling around in the dirt again? I got some fish for us, buddy. Okay, uh, just gotta secure the boat. Look at that juice ball of a grunt. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be eating good. I'm debating how I wanna cook him, but I'm thinking that we scale him, uh, cut his head off, cut his tail off, scale him, and just throw him in a pan hole. That'll probably be the best solution. Hey, buds. So we got our grunt in that bucket of water. Got a knife and then a glove, always helps. Hey, whoa, I'll give you a piece. We're just gonna descale it, so you wanna run your knife against the scales. I like to do this underwater because then the scales don't go flying everywhere. All those scales are gone. Beautiful. Oh look, a two by four washed up in my backyard. Huh, that's actually a pretty good piece of wood. So I'm gonna cut the fish's head off. Okay, you wanna take the head off and the gills and all the guts. Now the inside of Grunt's uh, 
They're like organs, have this black film, which I've always found to be kind of interesting. Some fish have it, some fish don't, but grunts have it. There we go. All the organs are gone. The head is gone. The gills are gone. And we'll go back to our bucket of water and just finish scaling him. And then uh, I'll meet you guys upstairs in the kitchen. It's the next day. I was gonna cook this fish up for dinner, but some things came up and I just wrapped it in a piece of paper. <laughs> Stuck it in the fridge. Stuck it in the fridge just like that. Wow, it is very cold. I still have the uh, polarized lens on the GoPro and I'll put the normal one, in, one on in a second. I'm interested how it works inside and if I should just keep the polarized lens on all the time or only when I'm outside or never use it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the little fins off this fish. Hey bud, you want to chew on this? I'm going to take my knife and just put a couple of slits, three slits on each side. Oh, got to cut that fin off too, almost forgot. One, two, three. Do I want to cut the tail off? You know, I'm going to leave the tail on because it might get crispy and crunchy. And we got our new lemon pepper seasoning. Y'all have got to try this, it'll blow your mind. But we're just gonna do a little lemon pepper on the inside, on the outside. And then this pan here, we got some butter heating up in the skillet. Give it a nice heavy coat of lemon pepper. Remember, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, we have six different seasoning flavors and they're all blended right here in Florida. And I think we are just about ready to drop the fish in, but first, Let's put on the, the normal GoPro lens. Boom, how does that look? How it looks indoors. I don't know if I can tell a difference. I'm looking at the screen on the back of the GoPro and I don't see much of a difference to be honest. And we got ourselves a fish cooking away. Ooh baby baby. Ooh baby baby, I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, damn. Mm. When I cook fish whole, I like them be I like them extra crispy just like this one. Oh, damn. Yo, y'all see that? Mm. And you know what? It's morning time. And no morning is complete without some good old coffee. I don't know if you can tell, but Folgers or Classic Roast, mm, one of my favorite, favorite blends. I think it's perfect, and I like it a little extra crispy. You know what, I don't think that's burnt at all. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? You know, you know what? I would say not burnt at all. Just looks perfectly crispy, fried exactly how I wanted it. So you can just, oh, look at that meat, boys. That's what I love about cooking a fish whole. You just, you can just put your fork in there. You just scrape out all that meat. Oh, baby, look at that. It comes right off the bones. Let's give it a try. Lemon pepper, grunt. I love grunts, you guys know I love grunts. It's been a long time since I've had lemon pepper seasoning. Probably, probably like three or four years since I've had lemon pepper seasoning. We got that crispy skin, we got that white meat. This is a good breakfast. Mm. I actually chugged 10 eggs earlier, but <clears throat> This is my second breakfast. Mmm. Okay. Grunt. Mmm. Look at that pile of white meat. It's soft. It's not too juicy, which I like. I don't like it when my fish is too like wet. Excellent fish, great seasoning. I'm gonna take this to my desk with a cup of hot coffee. Oh! All right, 
I'm taking all this to my desk. I'm gonna get back to work, put out some more fishing videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Please leave a comment. What do you guys think? Should I keep using my fancy new polarized lens? Should I keep using this? Or is it just a waste of money and there's no difference and move on to the next one? Or should I try a different one? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next fishing video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.